Space Dragon and Kim. Cleaning up experiment goop, yeah, yeah. Cleaning up all of my spilled soup. I'm cleaning up the side poop. But don't expect me to clean up Her your dog's room. I came, I said her Oh, sorry. Um, Space Dragon? Yeah. Are, are you, are you okay? Be honest. Do you think I'm gnarly and gross to the max? Of course! But only in the good way. But why are you so upset about it? Hawkins said that I was nasty looking and that I'll never be a bikini model. But it's my dream, Kim. My dream. Hawkins is just being a super meanie pants because she's jealous of how rad you really are. Yeah, but I look so different from all the creatures on this planet. I'm blue, I got a snout like a dolphin, and my butt looks like a sack of potatoes. Hmm, that is true. But you know what? Differences are what make things awesome. This calls for a visit from some super gnarly looking critters. Swipe! First up, a baby dragon! Those things are vicious! One of them ate my uncle Galdorf! Okay, calm down, calm down. This is actually a blue-tongued skink. Or a moose. A skink? What a strange-looking creature. What? Why is its tongue that color? Did it just eat a blue icy pop? What? Well, good question. You see, when it gets spooked, it sticks its tongue out to scare predators away, making it look poisonous, which is a good thing. Because to a snake, this blue-tongued skink looks like a spicy bean burrito, you know? Okay, so it just flashes that blue tongue and a snake is all like, Peace, I'm out of here! Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And, you know, some scientists think the blue color actually helps it avoid getting a sunburn on its tongue. Cool, yeah. like giraffes. Yeah, exactly like giraffes! The blue tongue skink eats insects. Since they're from Australia, and Australia is so full of really fascinating bugs, these gnarly looking crawly sausages help keep insect population down. Okay, so even though they look super weird, they're super helpful because they eat bugs who are totally gross and we hate bugs, right? Hey, 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 we don't hate bugs. No. And I'm about to show you why. Swipe! This is an arachnid called a vinegroon, aka a whip scorpion. <laughs> a scorpion? Burn the lab down. Call the police. Right. Fire a bazooka at it. <laughs> You are just full of hyper excitement today. I don't like it. Okay, it's actually not a scorpion. Oh. It looks pretty similar. You see, this tail thingy is actually there to help it navigate where it's going. So why is it called a vinegaroon? Does it taste like salt and vinegar chips? Well, close. It smells like salt and vinegar chips, <laughs> but only when it's scared. You see, this guy shoots acetic acid at its enemies from these special glands in its abdomen. And this acid smells just like vinegar. It's harmless to humans, but it could really, really hurt you if it gets you in the eyeball. Okay, all right. So how on earth is this freaky acid-shooting mutant good for our world? Okay, so many harsh words. Okay, they eat crickets and cockroaches, and crickets love to destroy farmers' crops. So without creatures like this, there would be an infestation of bugs eating all of our food. Okay, wow. Thank you, Vinegroon, you creepy living nightmare. But uh, if these guys eat bugs, who eats them? <gasps> this calls for another digital life, doesn't it? Why, yes! Rodents kind of like this one. Yeah, nasty, a rat! <laughs> Actually, even though rats are an invasive species and some of them can carry diseases, they're actually quite intelligent. So can you, like, train them to do tricks like a dog? Yes, but not only do they also eat bugs and provide a nasty treat for snakes, they also have a great sense of smell. So they can help humans seek out tons of things that we've had a hard time finding, like landmines. Or my headphones. I'm always losing those things. Yeah, it's terrible, I know. I guess it is kind of a beautiful creature after all. You know, I finally realized that just because something looks nasty to the max and freaks us out, it doesn't mean that it's not awesome. And the same thing goes for me. Just because I look unique, it doesn't mean that I'm not super sick to the extreme. Hawkins was right. I am gnarly. But not gnarly as in gross. I'm gnarly like the way surfers say it. 
Kim, I'm feeling pretty happy. I'm feeling happier than I did when I was a baby and I ate my Uncle Galdor. <laughs> hey, Kim. Yeah? Do you smell vinegar? It looks like a vinegar in his game! I stopped the music. Why are we screaming? We literally just learned that all these creatures are harmless to humans. <sighs> but wait, I'm not a human. 